I'm going to present now the study, development and validation of a digital literacy scale uh, for, for teenagers. And so first of all, and as uh, introduction, I would like to say that research related to digital literacy has grown exponentially in the last few years due to the impact of the technological advancements in uh, our on our lives. So, uh, in recent years, the way we work, we socialize, we entertain ourselves, we study, we communicate with uh, each other, has changed uh, due to these technological advancements. And another uh, thing that has also changed is the concept of literacy. So, traditionally, the term of literacy has been related uh, just to the ability to read and, and write. But with the passage of time, another types of literacy has uh, have emerged such as the media literacy, the information literacy, and of course, uh, digital literacy. In any case, the concept of digital literacy is still very confused, as there is no agreement between, between the scholars. We don't have just one definition and everybody agrees. Uh, instead of that, uh, there are very different uh, definitions of digital literacy. I've chosen this from Martin, who says that digital literacy refers to the attitude and ability of individuals to appropriately use digital tools and facilities to identify, access, manage, integrate, evaluate, analyze, and synthesize digital resources, construct new knowledge, create media expressions, and communicate with others. And moreover, it consists, according to Kutushas, in using a new medium that it provides advantages over other forms of learning, and at the same time, be critical and aware of the impact of that environment on, on oneself. In this sense, I would like to stress that um, new generations, such as the teenagers, are digital natives. But uh, it is not clear that they are also digital uh, literates, despite the fact that they, are, uh, they use a lot of these interactive uh, communications. They have problems in managing the information, building their digital identity, uh, managing their digital uh, privacy uh, online. So um, now the, we, are not, uh, we are not sure about the fact that they are uh, digital literates. In any case, digital skills are really important uh, for everybody, taking into account the, the importance of the technological advancements. Uh, all of us need these digital skills. But in the case of minors, they are also important because some uh, scholars suggest that these skills could be a prevention tool against the risk of digital technologies. And when experts talk about the risk of digital technologies, they usually refer to cyberbullying, sexual harassment and grooming, exposure to pornography and violence, sexting, contact with strangers, and impersonation. The major problem arising from these risks are uh, their serious psychological consequences that could affect the health and the quality of life of uh, teenagers. Thus, many studies have shown a link between suffering these risks and suffering anxiety, depression, stress, eating disorders, sleep disturbance, frustration, irritability, suicide attempts, and even suicides. Taking these things into account, the fact that we think that teenagers are not digital literate and the importance of the digital skills, the goal of this study is to develop and validate a scale to assess digital skills uh, on teenagers. So, with uh, this aim, we uh, have developed a, a questionnaire, a self-report questionnaire, pencil and paper questionnaire, and we have developed uh, 47 items uh, to measure the different uh, skills, the, the different digital skills. These items were measured in a five-point legal scale from one, strongly disagree, to five, uh, strongly uh, agree. So, after developing this questionnaire, we conducted a pilot study. So, we went to a high school with uh, 280 students from 12 to 17 years old and from secondary education. And we conducted this, this uh, first pilot study with this questionnaire. So we conducted a psychometric analysis and, analysis, and uh, we have to skew the 11 items because they, because they have extreme values of sweetness and courteousness. Then we also had to, to skew another item because it 
was incomprehensible. They, would, uh, they weren't able to understand this, this item, so we decided to, to um, exclude it. And finally, we changed in some, some difficult words that uh, were difficult to understand for them, such as, for example, a smartphone. They didn't know what a smartphone was, so we have to change it into a mobile phone. Uh, so, with the new questionnaire, we uh, conducted the, the main study. So, we went to 13 schools of secondary education, both state and private, and uh, from, both from rural and urban areas uh, from, from Spain. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, 715 adolescents completed this questionnaire, and they were from 12 and 18 years old, but also from secondary uh, education. Um, so um, our, our objective was to examine the, the skill items with exploratory factor analysis. So prior to this step, we need to we needed to know if the data were suitable for a structured retention. So um, we analyzed if the data were suitable, and uh, the Kaiser Major Olkin gave a value of 90. And the part that the test of sphericity was significant, so yeah, the, the data were suitable for, for this structural detention. Uh, we conducted the exploratory factor analysis on the 35 items with the principal component extraction method and a very max uh, rotation. After that, we have to remove more, more items for, for different reasons. First of all, white, uh, one item with low communality, less than 30, then uh, a factor with only one item, and finally a factor with no theoretical association between it force items uh, that has also a low ending value, a low uh, Cronbach's alpha. So we have to remove finally another six uh, items for, from the, this scale of digital literacy. So finally, the exploratory factor analysis revealed the existence of uh, six different digital uh, skills. The internal consistency and reliability of the factors was examined using Cronbach's, uh, Cronbach's alpha that was found to be reliable in five of the six factors. In the last factor, uh, we, are, um, we have uh, an an acceptable uh, Cronbach's alpha, but as we are in the early stages of uh, our research, we decided to retain it in order to try to improve it in, in future, uh, future research. In any case, and regarding the development of the digital literacy scale, uh, it is composed of six components and 29 items. First of all, we have the technological skill or instrumental skill, which refers to the ability to use effectively the uh, digital technologies. Then the personal security uh, skills, which refers to the ability to use the interactive communication without taking risks and dangers that could affect the personal safety of the, of the minors. The critical skill, which refers to the ability to critical, uh, critically analyze the information obtained in the uh, digital environment. Device security skills, uh, which refers to take precautions to keep uh, digital devices safe and avoid potential threats such as viruses and spyware from these uh, devices, the, for example the computer. Then the informational skill, which in short refers to the ability to find information, evaluate its uh, relevance and obtain it from the digital environment. And finally the communication skill, which uh, refers to the ability to communicate through digital uh, technologies. So, uh, as conclusions, as we said before, digital literacy has become an important issue nowadays, given the fact that the uh, children and minors and teenagers, minors and teenagers in general, use a lot of the interactive uh, technologies and we cannot deprive them for, for using them. Uh, it is important to give them the tools to be able to use them in a, in a safe, uh, safety way. So, as I said previously, some scholars suggest that uh, digital skills could be a prevention tool against the risk of digital technologies, and that's, that's why we developed this scale uh, with um, uh, six different, uh, different digital skills, technological skills, instrumental information uh, skill, communication skill, critical skill, uh, personal security uh, skill and device, device security skill and communication skill. 
The analysis indicates that the, this scale is valid in terms of construct and reliability, except on one of the of the factor, and that's one of the limitation that that has, that has uh, our uh, study and that should be addressed in the in the future. Thus, the the reliability of the communication scale factor should be improved in the future with the aim of ensuring uh, our our escape and the internal consistency. Additionally, for the research, using a different sample and conducting a confirmatory factor analysis is needed to establish the structural validity of the, of the scale. Moreover, we could use this instrument, this tool, to check whether there is a relationship between digital skills and online risk behaviors, and also uh, it would be interesting for us to check uh, what is the role of other variables in this relationship. For example, the parental medi mediation in the relationship between digital skills and online risky behaviors. And that's all. Thank you very much.